All right, let's finish up with our winners and losers of the week. As always, Ted, kick us off. Who do you have as your winner of the week? I think you have to go with NFL wide receivers, don't you? Whew. Big money. Big Diggs. money. Diggs getting paid over $100 million. Uh, Metcalf getting a, a, a massive contract and more to follow. Um, looks like Debo Samuel's in line to get something really big. Here's what's interesting, man. We saw quarterbacks absolutely break the bank, right? And wide receivers are – the numbers are getting pushed up to these ridiculous numbers, and it's, it's all about the passing game and continues to be in the NFL. If you're throwing it, if you're catching it, if you're blocking for the guy throwing it, and on the defensive side, if you're covering or if you're rushing, I mean – that's where all of the money is really focused on in the NFL and the numbers just continue to get absurd. I'm happy for them. Me too. Good for, good for them. Right? Here's my only, here's my only problem though. Okay. I wish the NFL, because they always talk about, well, I think the players, I don't know, they get something like 60, 65% of the overall revenue in the NFL. That's how they set the salary cap, right? Well, when the salary cap goes up, it goes to the same guy on every team. It goes to the quarterback. Like, no one else gets to share in it. You've got a, a small handful of guys, quarterback, a wide out, obviously, a tackle, corner. There's like five guys that make all the money and then the other 45 i make the league minimum it's crazy it's starting it's starting to turn into the nba (laughs) right right yeah i just got your max contract guys and everyone else you know i guess hey that's that's the game and that's where that's where they're they're putting it so i guess there's not a whole lot you can do about it but quit having your NFL PA meetings and talking about how much more share of the money the players are getting because that all is going to 32 guys, the quarterbacks. Yeah, that's that's how it's working. But yeah, <laughs> you you mentioned with Tyreek Hill, what he got. Woo. You've got Diggs out in Buffalo, Metcalf. Yeah, those those wide receivers are starting to get paid. Mm, tight ends to follow is what they're saying. That, that is what they are saying, all right, who do you have as your loser of the week? Speaking of NBA uh, and those payroll numbers, how about the Lakers? Ooh. Whew. Just brutal. You know, it's got to hurt to have, you know, what a lot of people consider to be one of the greats of all time. Some say the greatest of all time in LeBron James. You've got uh, a ton of star power there. You've got what, a hundred and thirty plus million dollars in just those three guys alone on your roster, and you don't make the playoffs. And I've never seen a team trolled as hard as the Lakers are for not for not making the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? That's it has to be one of the all right, the, the teams that gets hit the hardest for not making a to at least the postseason. Oh, the, there's no doubt. Everyone, everyone was circulating that LeBron uh, tweet from earlier in the year. Like, yeah, keep that same energy talking about our age and my guys, like, and all that. It's like, oh, well, actually, everyone is exactly right. You guys all got hurt, and it ended up being an awful season, one of the most disappointing seasons for a team in the history of the NBA. (laughs) Oops. Did you see the one shining moment Lakers version? So good. (laughs) I advise anyone that hasn't seen that yet. Go check it out. But yeah, you mentioned those three guys. Uh, First of all, the Lakers already have 146 million uh, locked in for next year. uh, When it comes to salaries, Russell Westbrook will be making $47 $47 million Ooh. next year. LeBron will be making 44 and Anthony Davis just under 38 million. 
You got 47, <laughs> 44, and 38 for those. those three I guys. bet LeBron just loves that Westbrook makes more money than him. Oh, I'm sure he's thrilled. Yeah, he, he's, he's, uh, he's not petty enough for that, is he? There's no way. Yeah, but when that team was put together, everyone was like, oh, that, that doesn't seem like it's going to work very well, especially they got, they got rid of a couple of key pieces, right? There were especially yeah. like, you know, Caruso was vital to that team, you know, with well, what he brought on the defensive end. I mean, they got rid of really good they, role guys. Yeah, even with what they got out of guys like, um, uh, like when Howard or, oh gosh, why am I drawing a blank on the seven footer? Uh, JaVale that, McGee. JaVale Dwight McGee. Howard. Yes, JaVale McGee. Dwight, like that, people can say whatever they want about those players, but they served a really good purpose on those teams. And I, I don't know. It, it's just, it's been a disaster. But hey, it's been really enjoyable for me to watch. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And they, uh, they aren't going to the playoffs and <laughs> everyone made fun of them, which was very entertaining for us. Hey, and you know what? As miserable as that season looked like it was for those guys, I'm sure everyone is like, I'll see you guys in October. <laughs> I'm going to take my gajillion dollars, go on a good vacation, and I'll see you next year, guys. If you need to see me, find the yacht in the Mediterranean. Yeah, maybe they'll hop on one of those those yachts that's been seized. Hey, there you go. Hey, th maybe they can get a cheap rental price, you know? <laughs> you never know. All right, I'll get to mine. But first, if you're a whiskey or bourbon drinker, stop what you're doing. Head to your favorite liquor store and buy some Balcones products. you got to grab some of Balcones Lineage Single Malt Whiskey. It was just voted one of the top 20 whiskeys in the world by Whiskey Advocate, and you'll be shocked by how affordable it is. Also, you got to snag some of Balcones Baby Blue Corn Whiskey. It's made from blue corn. That's the fancy corn. And that is why it has won more than 25 awards. Last but certainly not least, you got to buy some of Balcones Pot Still Bourbon. It's big flavors make it the perfect bourbon to drink year-round. In 2012, Balcones Single Malt won the Best in Glass competition, beating brands like Johnny Walker and McAllen. It became the first American distillery to win the competition. This stuff is the real deal, people. If you love great whiskey and bourbon at a great price, then Balcones products are the only way to go. The whiskey may be made in Texas, but the owners, yes, they are from Oklahoma. To find a liquor store that has it, visit BalconesDistilling.com. All right, for my winner of the week, I don't think you're going to like this one, Ted. Bill Self and the Kansas Jayhawks. They were down 15 in the national championship game against North Carolina. Came out in the second half, and they were a completely different team. I thought North Carolina kicked Kansas's ass physically in the first half. And in the second half, Kansas ramped it up, man. Ramped up their defensive pressure. I thought they really... That that increase in pressure really led them to playing with more confidence and tempo, uh, got out and transitioned some more. I I don't necessarily think UNC even choked. Uh, I think they ran out of gas a little bit, but I think Kansas went and took it from them. And they they did it, and they com completed the biggest comeback in the history of the championship game. And in that second half, they got contributions from – seemingly everyone right big plays from christian brown big shots from remy martin some massive moments from david mccormick late in that game and by the way he he should have been the most outstanding player not ochai abaji uh, jalen wilson he finally hit some layups in the second half they they just had so many guys step up but uh, i thought it was it was mainly because of the way that they defended and North Carolina took some, they took some bad shots and North Carolina was also beat up, man. I, I got a ton of respect for Armando Baycott dude battled uh, Caleb love tweaked his ankle, although he tweaked it all on his own, <laughs> which, and that guy kind of shot North Carolina out of the game. In my opinion, Brady Manick, I, I don't know how Brady Manick was feeling the next morning after that game. I mean, elbows straight to the forehead. Puff Johnson was throwing up on the court. Like a lot was going on for the Tar Heels, uh, but 
you know, even with all that, they, they were that close to winning a national title. And that's a hell of a year for Hubert Davis. But Kansas gets its fourth title, and Bill Self gets his second title, which puts him in a very small fraternity of coaches. Yeah, Kansas got it done. Um, I thought North Carolina had it, man. I thought they were about to complete just an unbelievable close to the season, like close the thing like a freight train. Yes, you know, it, it always pays to be hot at the right time, and boy, North Carolina was. I don't know. How, you're right. Brady Manick, the last time I saw elbow like that, it was whenever Nahara's skull got caved in. Uh, that was brutal. And he got up. He I, he didn't even sit, right? He, he stayed in the game right after that. Um, that was just brutal. But, dude, you got to give it up to, to Manick, you know, decided to, to go to the transfer portal, ended up at North Carolina, and he just got better and better as the season went on for them, had himself one hell of a senior season. Yeah, he did. And one hell of a season for the Kansas Jayhawks. I know a lot of people want to bring up them, you know, not being punished at all yet. I know you and I disagree on this, Ted. I, re I really don't care. I, you, yeah. you look at, you look at the collection of guys that Bill Self just took to go and won a title with. It's a pretty damn good coaching job. Pretty impressive. Like, yeah. I, I don't think there's a top 35 recruit in the bunch. I think the only McDonald's All American was David McCormick. And I, this, this is probably his best coaching job ever. And I'm, I'm not going to disparage what these kids accomplished. Uh, because of something that happened several years ago that they were no part of. I'm not going to do that. I, I get people that want to point that out. I just, I think the kids earned it. The game's played in between the lines and these kids that had nothing to do with any of that Adidas stuff. Uh, they, they deserve to be celebrated. It's a hell of a season. And that was a hell of a comeback in that game. Yeah. Let me clarify. My anger is not, at the kids it's not really even at bill self it's at the ncaa the ncaa I, I think when everyone brings this up it's more of an indictment on how uneven the ncaa doles out punishment how they allow some people to get away with things and others they absolutely hammer um yeah, people are going to throw jabs at Kansas, but for the most part, I think it's more so pointed at the, at least on my end, it's pointed at the NCAA, how big of a failure they are. Yeah, no, I understand that. All right, for my loser of the week, it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, <laughs> beat the Suns on Sunday. Uh, they're, they're also, they're, they're finishing up a game right now. Oh, thank gosh. They're losing to the jazz. They're down 15. You never know. They may come back and win. Uh, okay. Tuesday night though. I mean, just brutal, man. Uh, okay, okay. Cause the Suns they rested everyone on Sunday. Okay. Whatever. Not cool Suns, but whatever. Now Chris Paul played and he wrote the thank you. OKC on the shoes. And that was great. But then Tuesday night, the thunder started. Xavier Simpson, Yergos Kalizakis, which I don't even know. That's there's no way that's right. <laughs> it Kreji, Jalen Hort, and Isaiah Roby. They were down 19 to the Trailblazers at one point. They end up outscoring the Trailblazers 31 to 12 in the fourth quarter, and they won 98-94. They played seven guys, three of which were on 10-day contracts. And all three of those 10 day, 10 day guys played 43 minutes or more in the game. Jalen Horde went for 24 and 20 and had three assists. He's just, I think, like the seventh 20 and 20 guy in Thunder history. He is the first rookie with a 20, 20 and three game on 60% shooting since Shaq. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? It, listen, I, I want to be happy for him, right? Winning's fun. I get it. But 
trying to finish in that bottom three, boys. We're trying. And Kalit Zakis, however you say it, 17 points. Simpson had 10, mostly on like running hook shots, which were kind of sweet. I'll I'll fully admit that. But the Thunder, you look, they've won four of their last seven. Now they're gonna lose in the Jazz tonight, God willing. <laughs> but I just I mean, they got the fourth worst record in the league right now. We want them to finish in the bottom three so that way they get the best odds for the lottery. And it just the 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 franchise, the the winning culture just yeah, you, they just can't tank all the way, Ted. They just can't do it. Uh, there's no doubt. Uh, earmuffs, kids, but we are the shittiest tanking team in the history of pro sports. We can't do it. It's I, I, I don't even know. Like You should be going out there on the floor and tackling guys, right? And I guess this proves that you don't play guys that are going out there pl- – like this is their NBA finals game seven. Like this is their moment, right? Don't play those guys play a bunch of old vets that know what's going on here. You know that it doesn't really even matter for them. Play, what the outcome play the veterans that are going to treat it like a pickup game. Yes. Not, yes. Not the guys that are like, you know what? This is my one chance. <laughs> this is how I make a roster next season. And that's what's happening now. Man, that, that horde guy played his ass off. I'll give him credit. But, man, that was tough. That was so painful watching that comeback. I was, like, excited, but at the same time, I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and, yeah, they did it. Oh, wow. <sighs> being, being a Thunder fan is hard right now. I, I just want him to be good again, Ted. That's all I want. Uh, there is some entertainment factor there, though. It's like, can we lose this? I mean, it's. Is it possible? Can we get it done? It's so. 